Hi there, my name is Anna Aspinus from Anna Aspinus Designs and in this video tutorial I want to show you how to create an artsy blended layout using some of the digital supplies from the Anna Aspinus Designs product range. I'm going to be working in Photoshop Elements 11 but please feel free to follow along in the version of Photoshop of your choice. So I have launched Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 and then I'm going to head down to my folders to access my Art Play Palette Vivacity folders and the first thing I want to begin with is a paper so I'm going to head to the papery folder and select one of the artsy papers included with this particular art paper play palette and I'm going to go with uh, artsy paper number three and I'm simply going to drag that into my workspace. Next I need to add my image so I'm going to go back down to my folders and I have previously copied one of the images that I want to use from my photo folder uh, right next to the place where I have my art play palette vivacity stored and this allows me to access everything quickly and easily so I'm just going to grab that image and drag it into the workspace move it over go over to the tools panel ensure that we have the move tool selected and then drag that image across onto the artsy paper go ahead and close the original image out and then we can start working with this image. So the first thing I want to do is to apply a blending mode. So I'm going to go over to the layers panel, click on the downward facing arrow next to normal to access all of the blending modes. And I typically like to use multiply, um, screen, overlay, soft light, hard light, vivid light, and um, color burn those are the ones that I typically use the most and it's really just a, a practice of trial and error so I'm with this case I'm going to go with color burn and you can see that it intensifies the image the intensity obviously brings out some of the colors in the image I really like the pinks and the reds and there's uh, some some techniques that we can now apply to this image that will help soften it and not make the effect of the color burn blending mode looks so harsh. So to do this I'm going to go up to enhance and I'm going to go to the adjust lighting tools and select levels and then just play with the levers and what this does is it allows me to play with the lighting within the image and I'm really liking what's happening around this side of the image. This side um, is a little too burned but that's because of what's happening in the pattern paper or the the artsy the underlying artsy paper and so if I click OK and we move that image across you can see that some of that intensity gets lost so really it's a question of just resizing the image at this point so I'm going to click on the the bottom corner of the bounding box um, if you can't see the bounding box ensure that you have the bounding box option selected and then if I just click on that you can see those options change and you want to make sure you have this constrained proportions box checked and then it's just a matter of dragging that image inward and you can move it around the canvas to find the best fit for your image and I found that having it up here uh, works out quite well so we're just gonna just play around with it to get the right fit and then when you're happy with the placement of your image you can click on this check mark to, um, to commit that transformation. The next step is to erase some of these hard edges to blend that image into the artsy background and in this case it's a fairly easy task um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the eraser tool and what that does is it changes my options at the bottom of the screen and I still have a brush set that I was using previously loaded in my palette so I need to go ahead and load the brushes that are delivered with Art Play Palette Vivacity and so to do that I'm going to click on this downward facing arrow I'm going to go to load brushes I need to navigate to my Art Play Palette 
folder and I know that it's in the first folder so we go to the brush set folder and then you can see that the ABR file shows up when I click on that folder so double click and you can see that those brushes now appear within the brushes palette select a brush from the brushes palette I, if you scroll down using the slider you can see that there are a couple of really nice kind of what I would call artsy blending brushes included with this particular art play palette so select one of them I'm going to go with this one to begin with and then just click on the edges of that edge to kind of smooth it away and you can also adjust the opacity of that brush to kind of get in there and just smooth it over and just keep working away at it it's a bit like kind of using a, a real eraser as you would on a on a pencil line and just erase it away until all of those harsh edges have disappeared the next step is to start embellishing our layout to include brushwork elements title and possibly some journaling so the first thing I want to do is go and select my paintbrush tool from the tools panel by clicking on the paintbrush icon you can see that my options change at the bottom of my screen I'm going to click on that downward facing arrow and I want to load the word art that um, I actually want to put onto this page and in this case I'm going to be using life word art number eight so I'm going to click on that downward facing arrow select load brushes and go back to my product folders and in this case searching for life word art number eight and you can see that we can easily access the, the brush ABR file double click to load and then the word art is automatically loaded into our brushes panel so I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to go with this middle one the heart and soul of us select the brush that you want to use go over to your layers panel create a new layer I'm going to keep my foreground color as white you could click on that foreground color and sample any of the colors that are currently in your layout but I'm going to stick with the white click OK and then simply stamp that title on your layout and one of the things I like to do is go and select the move tool from the tools panel and then just move that title around just to make sure I've just moved the image there so in, ensure that you have the auto select layer unchecked and then that will allow you to move your title around the page without actually interfering with any of the other layers that you currently have in your layers panel so it could really go anywhere so it's just a question of moving around to find the best fit and I found that I liked that title here I'm now going to add a distress look to my layout by using a script T celebrate overlay so let's go down to my folders again and this time I'm going to go back to my product folders select the script T celebrate overlays number one and select the second overlay in the collection I'm going to drag it and drop it into my workspace and then from here ensure I have the move tool selected and then move that overlay onto my page until it snaps into place close that out and then I want to add a color burn blending mode so head back up to the top of the layers panel and select color burn from the options and it's it's pretty good it looks I like the look of it actually on my page one of the things that I'm finding is is it's quite harsh and these particular overlays are delivered in a kind of a very dark gray so if we go up to enhance adjust lighting and back to that levels lever then we can actually lighten that and make it a little bit more subtle simply by moving some of these levers and then when you with your hap when you're happy with the result then click OK to complete the page I want to add a couple of dimensional elements I'm not much of an embellishment user but I do like to add one or two buttons or small elements to my digital artsy blended pages so let's head back down to our folders I'm going to 
go back to Art Play Palette Vivacity and access the Elements folder and inside there you can see numerous um, elements that you can use to adorn your pages. Um, I'm quite fond of this little stitched heart so I'm going to select that, drag it into my workspace and then of course drag it onto my layout and we can move it around um, as needed. I kind of like it down here in the corner to kind of balance um, the, the, the page. You can see that we have a lot of the action of the layout happening in the top portion of the layout and then there's what I consider white space at the bottom and this helps balance and allow the eye to rest between the areas of interest and the, the more kind of spatial areas and then of course we have these swirls with the um, title and then this small area of glitter paint and it kind of just leads the eye across the page and helps provide direction. You can also add a realistic style shadow to your heart. I like to use the Anna style drop shadows which are available in the tools category of the Anna Aspinus design store but you can also add your own by going to layer, layer style, style settings, ensure that you have the drop shadow box selected and then from here you can adjust the shadow as desired. You can click on that small box to change the color by clicking. I often find that a, a dark gray is a little less harsh than black. Um, you can also adjust the opacity until you have it how you like it. Um, you can of course also change the angle to your preference. I like around 120 degrees and then click OK. And then from here I want to anchor that heart to the page by using some of my favorite elements at the moment which are the urban stitches and so I'm going to ensure that I have my paintbrush tool selected go back down to my brushes panel click on the downward facing arrow click on this other arrow go to load brushes and then navigate to um, some of my stitching sets and in this case I'm going to use the new urban stitches banners set click on that folder double click on the ABR file and you can see that those brushes now appear in the brushes panel. Create a new layer in your layers panel and then head back over to your tools palette. We already have the brush tool selected. I'm going to go back down to my foreground color. Currently it's white. We want to make that black. Um, I actually prefer to use the urban stitches in either black, a dark gray, dark green, um, dark blue, any of the really really dark colors um, but my actual preference is black. I think they look best in black. Um, so we can go ahead and click on that and either click the black down in the corner here or you can just toggle those um, default colors down at the bottom of the thumbnails here. So if I click on that you can see that the colors automatically go to your foreground color being black and your background color being white and then we'll head down and we'll select a brush. Um, any of these would, would work. So I'm going to go with this um, banner here, which is number four, and then head on over to my layout and just click that off the side there so that we have the stitched banner partially visible on the page. And then from here I could go ahead and add some journaling if I wanted to, um, but I don't really have anything to say about this layout, the quote to me or the, the title says it all and so um, as far as I'm concerned I'm going to call it done. So this is a quick and easy approach to creating an artsy layout using an art play palette. Um, if you have any questions about the techniques demonstrated in this video tutorial please do not hesitate to shoot me an email at Anna underscore Aspinus at yahoo.com and I shall do my best to help you with any issues that you might have. And uh, Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope to be back here again soon.